Hi, my name is Vince Farron. I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. You might have seen our other video about creating a harness in SOLIDWORKS Electrical, but if you haven't, take a look. It offers a great introduction to creating and routing harnesses. However, today I'm going to go over creating a standard harness drawing in 3D and exporting that back into your 2D project. Let's get started. If you take a look at my screen, I have a model of a gas fire plates that I've been working on. I've already routed a harness in between a lot of these electrical components here. And now I'm ready to create a harness drawing. If I go to the feature manager tree, down here is my harness. To open that up, right click on it, hit open subassembly or open subassembly in position, your choice. And I'm going to hit open subassembly. That opens the harness up in its own uh, window there and now we need to flatten that to create a drawing of it. If you're not already in it, go to the electrical command manager tab right there, electrical routing, hit flatten route and we takes us into the flatten route property manager. First up we have the flatten type, annotation or manufacturer. I'm going to be focusing on annotation that is basically a simplified not to scale drawing using uh, with all these connectors and putting in the links. We'll take a look at that in a second. And then there's a manufacturer which is basically a nail board version and someone could take that to scale, lay it out on a piece of plywood if you want to see the actual lengths of the harness. Next up are our flatten options. We can display the 3D connectors which I'm going to do in the um, in the flattened route version or we could say use drawing as connector blocks that will not show those connectors in the flattened route but they will show up on the 2D drawing if there were any clips in here we could flatten those clips. First thing I'm going to do is just switch over to the manufacturer real quick because I want to select this as my route sketch se segment so I'll select that but go back into the annotation uh, flatten type. Then we have the drawing options. To turn those on, click that check mark. We can choose what size uh, template we want to use for a drawing. Also add in electrical bomb, cut list, connector table, and balloons. Well, in this case, I don't need any of these because they're already included in my schematic. So I'm going to turn all those off right now and then hit the green check. And it's going to simultaneously flatten the route and also create that 2D drawing that I'm looking for. So you can see a little preview of that flattened route, but then here's our drawing. So we can see a very clear note right there, not to scale. We have the lengths of the harnesses, also some part numbers on here. So this all looks pretty good. The only thing I don't need here is this uh, title block. So easy to get rid of that. Right click in the graphics area, go to properties, uncheck display sheet format. So that turns it off and now it's a blank sheet. Next up, actually adding it to the electrical schematic. So you can see that I don't have that drawing in there uh, currently. It's really easy to do. SOLIDWORKS Electrical Drawing Command Manager, Create Project Drawing. Click on that. It just says you have to save the drawing before you can do it. Say yes, drawing was successfully created and has been added to your project. Great. And it'll even pop up uh, that project within uh, 3D so we can see that, yes, the drawing was added there at the end. That's 11. Let's go back to the schematic, open it up, take a look, and now you can see that my 2D drawing has been added as a sheet in that my project, my electrical project, with my title block and everything on there. In today's video, I covered creating a flattened harness drawing and adding it into an electrical project. This was with a annotation view, but keep an eye out for a future video about using a manufacturer view as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please give it a like. Subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel to see more videos like this one, and thanks for watching.